actually a lot of weapons that are visibly available in the Modern Warfare beta. I know not everybody has seen it yet because Xbox and PC is not until next weekend, so I thought it would be good to do a video going over every single weapon in Modern Warfare right now. And I want to give a big shout out to Elias, who emailed me some really good information on a lot of these weapons that we are going to go over. Yes, I do check my email every day. So big shout out to him. Let me know, guys, from what you've seen or what you've played so far, are you team minimap or are you team no minimap? Me personally, I think the minimap needs to be in the game. Otherwise, everybody and their mother is going to run Ghost and they're going to run UAV. You might as well have those as locked perks and locked kill streaks. That's just me. You guys let me know what you think so far. I'm going to do a review of the beta probably Sunday or Monday. But now we're going to go over, we're doing this, this is a live com, no face cam, but we are going to go over all the web. So let's kick things off with the M4A1. Everybody knew it was going to be in the game and uh, a lot of these names aren't actual real names. They're made up names. So keep that in mind. But this one appears to be a Mark 18 CQBR and that's a shorter variant of the M4A1. Now you can change it to the M16A3 or the M16A4 or even the M4A1 uh, SOP mod. So uh, keep that in mind when you're going to upgrade this thing and uh, the gunsmith stuff it's not readily available you have to upgrade you have to level up your weapon uh, to get all of these attachments and there's not even that many attachments available right now there's the perks you can see slide of hand takes weapon level six under barrel the angled foregrip takes weapon level four so it's not like you can just hop into gunsmith and the <laughs> go get these uh, these attachments to change your gun around but keep that in mind now the ak-47 i don't really have anything to say about it it's the ak-47 now the muzzle the lasers the optic the perk and the magazine are all available right now but there's not many things available in there when we played the build earlier this year there was everything was unlocked that they had in there so you had a ton of attachments you could use in customization and that'll be how it is once we are done uh, with the actual beta 2. Once, once we get into the launch, I mean, look at this. There's all kinds of holographic sites. You know they're going to take the, the level cap off 10. It's probably already done by the time this video is over. You have a Solo Zero Optics Mini Flex, APX5 Holographic Scout, Combat Optics. So there's going to be all kinds of options when it comes to this. Now, the M13. This weapon in real life is actually called the MCX Vertis. I like this gun. This thing has a super, super high rate of fire. I like it. I like everything about it. It it feels like, I can't remember the gun, but it's in Black Ops 2. Uh, super smooth gun. I can't remember which one it is right now. It's not coming to my, to my head. Got a lot of optics. They seem to want to let us have optics. Heavy hitter. Melee produces greater stun on targets. That's an interesting one. This one has two foregrips because I've been using it. And then you have uh, two uh, muzzles that you can put on as well. This right now, it's not the most powerful gun, but this to me, I'm gravitating uh, towards this gun. I wish I could remember what that smooth gun is in Black Ops 2, but it's just, it's not coming to my head right now. Now, one of the most powerful guns in the game, if you ask me right now, we're not allowed to look at it because we're obviously not level 21. We maxed out at level 10 uh, earlier as we go up I'll unlock them but it's the FR556 now of course this is the FAMAS this version is the original FAMAS F1 that we actually saw in Modern Warfare 2 which is a little weird because the Black Ops version is the modern FAMAS but this is the one that we saw in, or in Modern Warfare 2 which kind of went underrated it wasn't as big of a fan favorite as the one in Black Ops was, but it was still a super, super stout gun. Three round burst, bullpup, everybody knows this. This thing drops them fast. I would say just off the little bit that I've played, this is a top two or three gun. It may be the best gun in the game. Now, the Odin, a lot of people want to know about this one. The gun's real name in real life is the ASH-12-7, and it's a prototype bullpup assault rifle. I like this thing and it's a fully automatic bullpup. It maintains a slow cycle rate to help control hard hitting. Doesn't feel like it's as hard hitting as the FAMAS, 
but it's still pretty cool. Then we have the Kilo 141, fully automatic assault rifle with the ergonomic design that improves handling and a steady fire rate to help stay on target. I've never played with this one. And this is actually the HK 433. It looks like an ACR. If you look at it, it kind of looks like an ACR, but it's actually an HK. And this of course is a nod or paying homage to Task Force 141. But we don't even know if these are gonna be the names of the guns once we get into the actual launch. They could be placeholders, they could actually change. Then we have the Fowl, which everybody knows is a semi-automatic battle rifle with a high rate of fire. And this looks very, very familiar to a lot of people. Now I know there's not a lot of fans of semi-automatic weapons, but if it hits hard enough, maybe some people will actually use it. Then we have the FN Scar 17S. Now this appears to be the Scar H even though the name is the SCAR 17S and it's referred to as a civilian version of the weapon, but this looks very, very familiar. And I have a feeling I'm gonna call it now. I haven't got to play with it, obviously. I have a feeling this is going to be one of the better guns in the game. The SCARs are always hard hitting, very accurate. They just always seem to go under the radar for some reason, I don't know. So that is all the assault rifles. Now, let's move over to the MP5, the classic. MP5. Everybody already knows what this weapon is. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about stuff that you can actually change these and do. Actually, I'll tell you right now. So with the MP5, there are a ton of variations you're probably going to be able to do with this. You'll be able to do the MP5A3 that was in COD 4 and the Black Ops 2 campaign. You could also change it to the MP5A2, the MP5SD3, the MP5SD2, and the mp 5 10. There are going to be so many ways to customize this MP5 once you unlock everything and you level up your weapon. Another one, the MP7. It's the same thing. I mean, it really, really is. You're going to be able to turn this thing into the MP7A2 as well. I'm excited about this one. I don't think it's going to be as good as the Modern Warfare 3 version. Maybe more like the Black Ops 2 version. We'll have to see. I played with it in the early build. It had a ton of recoil. It says compact by design. This fully automatic weapon has a high rate of fire, low recoil, which is to come expected. But you're going to be able to make some nasty variations of this. And this one. This is one that I'm excited about. A lot of people are running the default. I think it's an AUG with a suppressor on it. So you're going to see that around. You can pick it up and experience it. And everybody knows, bullpup, this thing is ready for mobility. It's in the SMG category, not in the assault rifle category. And there's going to be a ton of stuff that you can actually do to this gun. And then we have the P90. They have all the classics, all the classics back. Automatic bullpup submachine gun, a unique top mounted magazine, hold, hold carry ample high velocity 5x7 ammunition. There's a lot of bullpup love in this game so far. So I wanna know, would you rather use the AUG? Or would you rather use the P90? You let me know. Then we have the PP19 Bison. That's right, the Bison is back as well. I mean, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be fun. And I told you guys before, send me your craziest gun builds. But then I realized once I got into the beta that you have to really level everything up and you are stuck trying to level stuff up and they don't have all the attachments. So it may be something we have to do when the game comes out, but you can continue to send the stuff if you have it, send your clips, send your craziest gun builds, and you could make it in a video. This one is going to be fun. This is gonna have a fast, fast fire rate. And the last one is the Uzi. Now they saved the best for last. Call of Duty doesn't usually do that. Everybody remember the FAD being the last gun in Modern Warfare 3, it was not the best. So I think the F2000 was a high unlock two for Modern Warfare 2 and it wasn't the best. So I am very, very critical uh, and skeptical of the Uzi. We'll have to wait and see. Now let's get in to uh, some shotties. The Model 680, reliable, well-rounded, 12-gauge pump action shotgun. This is going to be everybody's default. Carry it around, do your thing. Now this is actually the Remington 870 MCS, which you guys will all probably remember. I believe it was in Black Ops 2. So yeah, this is gonna be a fan favorite. I feel it is. I've seen some people say the shotguns are underpowered. I've seen other people just going off with the shotgun. So I guess we'll have to wait and see how they actually do these. The 725 brake action shotgun with two round capacity, a long backboard barrel, and a centrical choke keeps spread tight and lethal over extended ranges. This is the shoddy 
that you can kind of snipe with. This is the one you saw, I believe, in all the 2v2 with the telescopic lens on it. It's going to be crazy to customize this thing. Now, we have an R9 O shotgun. Nobody's used yet. Double barrels provide two rapid shots before each reach chamber. I'm going to assume the power drop off is there with this. We'll see. And this is actually a DP-12 pump action shotgun in real life. Once again, all of these with the gunsmith are going to be crazy to actually customize them. And then the last shotty we have is the Origin 12 shotgun. Semi-automatic shotgun with large ammo capacity allows for continuous firing effective at close range. This is going to be... I think kind of like the striker from modern warfare 3 obviously maybe not as much capacity but you can see the mag it has and i guarantee you there's going to be some kind of big drum mag that you can put on this thing and just go to town you can see the side uh, grip on it too which is pretty pretty cool now let's get into the lmgs the m91 this is actually the hk mg5 in real life robust light machine gun sacrifices mobility for stability high caliber sustained fire will neutralize targets at long range looks familiar right yeah let's see what kind of sights you can actually put on this thing then i remember this one i don't remember what ga or what game it was in but i remember this gun it had a different name the fully automatic bullpup light machine gun lower rate of fire and 556 ammo keeps this rifle stable and effective this is the s8 or the sa87 now i don't know i i, I can't put my finger on what gun this was maybe it was in black ops or maybe it was in black ops 2 I keep thinking something with the cube, and I'm not for sure. Then we have the PKM, which we have seen in uh, Call of Duty in the past as well. Fully automatic light machine gun, 7.62 ammo. Just looks like an overall balanced version. Then the MG34. The MG coming back once again. Look at this old school gun. Fully automatic, high rate of fire, punishing Mauser ammunition. Salvage World War II machine guns are still reliable and deadly on the battlefield. So they are not afraid to go back, my friends. That obviously does not fit in in the modern times, but they're putting it on there. Then we go over to Marksman Rifles. Let's take a look really quick. The EBR-14 was actually the M14. It's not the MK-14 EBR. It's just the M14 rifle. Once again, look, they're giving us cool stuff, uh, a range of things. Semi-automatic, you guys already know that. There's not really much else to say there. The MK-2 Carbine. This weapon is really called the Marlin Model 1895. This appears to be the modern version of the Marlin, which is the 1895 SBL. Highly accurate lever action rifle. Will neutralize an enemy with one well-placed round to the head or the chest. There's going to be some people do some beautiful things with that one. And then uh, we have the classic OG bolt action uh, World War II relic, the KAR-98K, the car... 98k there's a lot of people smiling a lot of og cod players smiling about this one then we get over to the sniper rifles which i know a lot of you want to know about the ax50 hard hitting bolt action sniper with 50 cal bmg ammunition tungsten tipped bullets fast powerful i don't know what is going to be the go-to uh sniper rifle yet we'll have to wait and see that's obviously not what i do so yeah and then for some reason i want to pull the drag in and keep the dragon off in. So it's in the game. It's probably going to suck. It usually does. And the HDR, which is anti-material bolt-action sniper rifle. I don't know. Thick reinforced barrel helps control. We'll have to see how that one actually works out. That one kind of looks kind of weird to me. Then let's go over to the secondary weapons. Obviously, the Deagle is overpowered right now. Everybody loves that. The M19 is back. Compact. Then we have the X16, which is actually the Glock 21 in real life which is pretty cool and then check it out yep it's back it's there you are going to be able to use it then we go over to launchers and we have the pila or the pila and this is actually a sa25 launcher cool if you're into launchers we've got the strella and this actually in real life is called the carl gustav m4 not to be uh, put with gustav cannon i don't think okay it's not the strella 3 from black ops either then the rpg is back and then we have the joker which is the fgm 148 javelin that's right the javelin is back my friend so there you have it those are all the weapons that are kind of available not really available they're available visibly at least in the beta now with the m4a1 you're gonna be able to do all kinds of stuff with that thing you're gonna be able to make the m16a3 the a4 just 
all kinds of stuff. You know you're going to be able to turn the AK-47 into the AK-47U or the RPK. You are also going to be able to change the L86A1 into the L85 infield assault rifle, the, the, the infield from, from Black Ops. I am super excited about that so there you go guys once a bit once again big shout out to elias for all the information helping me out with this video let me know what gun you are gravitating towards the most there is a video up on the screen right now i need you guys to click on that if you made it all the way through this one you guys are, <laughs> you're the real one